Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everyone is having a great Monday. Well, today we are going to be working on the Mount Fuji Jigsaw Puzzle. And I am going to be working right in here on these two trees. We'll see how much of it we get done. This came from FG Normal, oh, I'm going to say a couple weeks ago. So, yeah. So, how was your weekend, everybody? Did you have a good weekend? Oh, my goodness. It was a weekend. So, my company left um, this morning. So, I thought, well, I might as well just make a video, right? Oh, goodness. Yeah, at least it stopped snowing, and today's supposed to be in the 40s. So, most of this snow should start to melt away, thank goodness. Now, we're left with rivers of mud. Oh, my goodness. It was kind of something tracking around and going here and there, but... We got it done. Yesterday I fixed um, the corned beef. And we had that for dinner. So, yay. And we went out to breakfast yesterday morning. So that was fun. We didn't want to traipse around too much. We did all that on Friday and Saturday. Going to thrift stores and the Oh, Habitat, for, I'll call it Habitat for Humanity. We call it the Restore, but we had to go there and we got a, a fixture to put up in the kitchen. Changed that all out. And we had to go to the hardware store and get uh, we had to buy one for the other place in the kitchen because it had to have a pull string. I don't know, some electrical thing that, you know, I'm, if I knew about electrics, I would have had these things done, but we just left it to my company, so they got it all put together, and now I can actually see it in my kitchen. So, yeah, because the other lamp was just beginning to to lose it, and it never really had a whole bunch of light in the first place so been wanting for years to change that so we saw an opportunity and we just did it got my microwave all up and using it and it works just great so yay we are up and ready for business so to speak but yeah it and it did i think it snowed a little bit yesterday but Nothing too horrific, like, what was that, Thursday and part of Friday, there was some snow. I think we ended up getting about 12, 13 inches, but like I said, by the time we hit, well, Saturday or Sunday, it was all turning to mush, so it was pretty heavy snow to begin with so yeah um, i'll be happy when it all goes away and we can just move on and maybe have warmer weather it's supposed to be in the 40s and 50s all this <clears throat> this week oh come on what the heck is going on here so yeah we just had a nice quiet kind of day yesterday didn't go anywhere didn't do anything other than breakfast and we ended up watching Outlander most of the day and my friend had bought me a a picture so I had to hang that they hung that up it required a heavy heavy screw because yeah it was It was pretty heavy. I'd say it weighed maybe five pounds. So it needed a little something more than just a little nail to tack it up on the the wall with. So we got that done. But yeah, not just 
not a lot going on yesterday. I was kind of tired. I took a two-hour nap, and they took a two-hour nap, and we just went on. We just needed to stop for five minutes. So I did stitch you know, here, there, and everywhere over the weekend. Just, you know, little spurts. I'd pick it up, and I worked on the big, call it the Chinese building. And uh, I worked on this a little bit. I got all these green leaves done. But, you know, you're talking about a space of maybe an hour total. I'd pick it up and work on it, put it down, do something else. So, yay. But we ended up having a really good time and enjoyed the visit. So, yay. Fun, fun times. So it ought to be pretty quiet this week compared to the last week and this past weekend. So it should be a pretty short floss tube this week, tomorrow, because I didn't work on a whole lot. So did get some uh, more bird seed and I got like we'll call it four bags of bird seed like I got the normal mix stuff and then I got two or three bags to mix in with that so the birds have been out there enjoying themselves but yeah pretty quiet stupid Got to finish, fix this. I did find that when I was cleaning something off. That stuff, this matte stuff, it's not real expensive. I think it was probably, we'll call it three bucks at the dollar store. So push come to shove. If the other stuff is not capable, I can go get some more of it. Because I really have no shelves that I actually put it on. I just use it for my desktop because it's worked so well. So, yeah. Fun times. But getting a few things around the house straightened around and fixed and changed that needed to be changed. I have to <clears throat> go through the uh, one shelf that's like over the, the kitchen uh, sink and just rearrange it and throw away stuff that I didn't use or whatever but I was kind of waiting for the weather to not be so sloppy around I hate traps and around in all the slop and running water in the mud and everything else before I do that because it'll require going down and throwing it into the big commercial trash can so and it's kind of muddy over there I mean it, it's just it just is of where it sits so it's not like it's on a concrete pad or anything and then the weather you know it's been so helpful with all the wind but you know through this whole weekend I didn't even notice the wind there was no real high winds this weekend so that helped so, really, when it snowed, it, it wasn't all that cold. So, that was a real good thing. But I'm glad it's done doing its thing for at least another week. <clears throat> so, other than that, I got no plans whatsoever to go anywhere or do anything.
think I might go to my daughter's house this week, like on Thursday. She had a movie she wanted me to watch, and we figured we could watch that and eat a little pizza and just kind of take a break from life, but we'll see. That's as big as the plans get for the week. I don't know that we will uh, work on the diamond painting stuff, you know, while I'm there or not. It just depends on whether she wants to sit on those chairs, you know, and do the the diamond painting for a couple hours while we're watching the the movie. So, and I, I have no idea what the name of the movie is. I I know who's in it, but I have no idea. <clears throat> so, we'll see. We will see. I'll put that needle away before I stab myself. Got my little, I don't know that it's a pagoda or a temple or what it is exactly. And don't ask me where I got it because I can't remember. But I've had that one for a long time. I just found it. Like I said, some of these things fall off this arm. And uh, they get lost in the shuffle until I get ready to clean off my desk. So... That's how that all goes. I've still got to put those two kits that I got this morning into their own bag so that I have them ready to go in, what is it, summer and autumn and winter bags and then leave them hanging fire so we can work on them during the appropriate season so yeah kind of excited about that but i didn't want to start any of those this week i just started the the spring one that was about as far as i got so we'll just get them ready for the various seasons and then we'll get them out but I haven't done that yet so and of course I, I can't remember if I have to make sure all the threads are there you know before we get to that point I will do that much just so they're ready to go oh. That's one thing I hate about these. They got those little hooks on it, so if I don't set that in the right direction, the thread, when it's coming up, attaches itself to the the little hook. So, uh, I don't know. And I never use them as threaders. They're too hard to hang on to. I'm still using the little cheap I don't know if I got one right here, maybe. These little flat ones, they work the best. I love them. I must have bought, a, it came in a package, I don't have it right here, of like 50 of them for like a dollar and a half or something from Amazon. And I'm still working out of that bag. So it's not like I go through them. And I don't put one with each kit, you know, to leave. Because that would just be a waste. Because I never know when I'll get back to that particular kit. So I just leave them out here on my desk. And I can use them. They're awesome. So I just like using these as place to place my my ah, my needle in instead of what they're typically supposed to be. And I think they're pretty. 
So I just collect them. Yeah, it didn't take any time at all for me to sew those. There's two colors there. I don't know that you can see that. They're real close in shades. The bottom one's a little bit darker than the top, but not by much. So yeah, like I said, I like working on this. You can put in a couple colors, you know, in no time. So, yeah, it goes pretty fast. I just haven't consistently worked on this. So, like, I think I've worked only on about two or three things this Okay, maybe three or four things this past week. This, the lovers in the garden, and that I worked on the cats, and my Riverside, Riverside Building Night Moon thing. Now you know why I call it the building. So I got a lot of that done. But I just wanted to do a, a little stitch with me. Did y'all have a good St. Patrick's Day? Did you get to eat corned beef and cabbage? Didn't have cabbage this time. So I just cooked the corned beef with some onion. But it was yummy. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of it this week. And go from there. Alright guys. Like I said, this is not going to be a long video. But yeah, it's coming across nicely. All I have to do is that color there and right there. And then this has a little pedestal, if you will. I don't know, this one looks more like it's grown out of the, the ground. Where this looks like it's... You know how they do bonsai trees on some kind of a wooden thing ish all right guys well thank you for joining me today if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell that way you'll know when my next video comes out stay safe stay healthy we'll see you next time god bless bye bye keep stitching